Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to introduce four different ICs which are used for the particular operation of code conversions. Okay, so in the previous uh, videos, I have explained you multiple logic circuits for code conversions like a BCD to 8421 code 8421 to BCD converter and XS3 conversions. So, so all these conversions we have came across. Now, <coughs> code converters code converters using integrated circuits. Integrated circuits. When we are going for uh, next level, okay, next level of this switching theory and logic design is digital IC design. Nothing but whatever we have studied in this particular subject in the name of logic circuits by using logic circuits the all these circuits will be simply transformed into integrated circuits so that ICs are very easy to replace okay suppose if you are having if you are having 10 number of logic gates 10 number of logic gates all these 10 number of logic gates can be integrated in one particular integrated circuit one particular integrated circuit okay suppose if you have if you want to uh, suppose if you have designed a circuit with 10 logic circuits and these 10 logic gates are somewhere we have a mistake that means uh, some fault or some damage has been occurred in this particular uh, out of 10 5 maybe <clears throat> then what happens we have to go for individual replacement otherwise we uh, the entire circuit will be wasted so that's why in order to uh, replace that it is not uh, <coughs> it is very easy to replace with integrated circuit just uh, we are uh, desolder that integrated circuit and again we solder that integrated circuit with a new one so that the operation is again configured so ICs are much easy when we are going for the higher levels okay if you have any boards then you can observe lot of any electronic boards then you can observe lot of uh, integrated circuits on the circuit integrated circuit along with some resistors capacitors on it okay you don't have any logic circuits alone on the board okay even regulators also come with integrated circuits okay now code converters code converters using these ICs we are going to see four different uh, ICs so four different ICs we are going to see four different ICs so four different ICs the first one is 74184 74184 which is a 6 bit 6 bit bcd to binary converter bcd to binary converter what is the use of taking 6 bit instead of 4 bit means 6 bit can handle up to 6 bits suppose if you have designed only 4 bit ic then 5 bit and 6 bit uh, 7 bit will not work so the possibility is maximum up to given uh, is 6 bit okay that means we can work with this type of ic using 2 3 4 5 and up to 6 bits and the second ic is 74185 74185 which is an opposite operation of this 74184 so it converts 6 bit 6 bit binary to binary to bcd converter it converts 6 bit binary number into bcd number and the third ic you are going to see is nothing but your bcd nines complement converter <coughs> bcd nines complement converter bcd nines complement converter using <coughs> 74184 that means it is an example the third one is an example for this first one okay the example for this one is shown in this third one again the fourth one <coughs> fourth ic realization we are going to see it is a bcd tens complement bcd tens complement 
converter <coughs> okay bcd tens complement converter this is using 74184 only using 74184 so these two are the applications of this particular 74184 okay that means how to realize how to how the connections are being made we are going to see in 3 and 4 <coughs> now the first ic which is the main important ic which is 74184 74184 which is a 6 bit bcd2 binary converter BCD to binary converter. So I see BCD to binary. The meaning of this one is BCD will be converted into binary. And here we have enable pin which is an active low enable pin. This bubble indicates active low enable pin it is indicated with g bar <coughs> and here we have a b c d e inputs a b c d e inputs these inputs are 2 4 8 10 and it is 20 and here the enable pin is number 15 ic is having numbers ic pins are having numbers according to that we are going to connect <coughs> and here output side we are having y1 sorry all these are <coughs> okay i will write numbers only See, IC numbers are given as 15 and it is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And Y1 is 1. Here BCD binary output. Binary output, there are total 9 outputs are there. So Y0, Y1, Y2, Y3. 5 4 5 5 5 6 5 7 <coughs> and then y 8 so the numbers are 1 2 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so it is total having 15 15 pins it is totally having 15 pins <clears throat> okay and we have to consider one of the bits here one of the bits here from the input to output okay i will show you how to take that in the designing part <clears throat> and this is seven four one eight four seven four one eight four and the next one is seven four one eight five 74185 which is used to a 6 bit binary to bcd converter binary to bcd converter so in the similar way here also we have 15 pins for this ic binary to bcd so add to low enable pin and with inputs A, B, C, D, E <coughs> A, B, C, D, E This is 15 pin here also 10 11 12 13 14 A, B, C, D, E Here it is binary information and here also we have outputs c 
See in the previous one, y1, y2, y3, y4, y5, y6, y7, y8. Okay. Next here, y1, y2, y3, y4, y5, y6, y7, y8 and y0 is coming as the input that is coming from the input side. <clears throat> okay. So, all this indicates the BCD number and in this here it is BCD at the input side A, B, C, D, E and these are all a binary information. This is all the binary information. Okay. This is 74185. Now let us see <coughs> BCD 9's complement. BCD 9's complement converter. BCD 9's complement converter. Same. In the same circuit, we are going to take 74184. 74, so consider the enable pin as 0 to make the IC active. So A, B, C, D, E and this is G. G is nothing but active uh, enable pin. So we are making these two pins grounded and a, B, C, D, we are taking the inputs to the 4-bit BCD number. A, B, C, D. This is BCD input. BCD input. And this, one of the inputs, the second one, we are taking the 9's complement output as the second bit. And this is complemented output n a n b <coughs> this is y6 y7 y8 these pins we are taking and it is n c n d this is the 9th complement output b c d 9th complement output what do you mean by 9th complement output 9th complement is nothing but 9 minus the given number 9 minus the given number. The internal structure is designed like that. Internal structure, how it is designed like that based on the truth table, K maps, and then logic circuit. Okay, logic circuit which we have got is going to be converted into a IC. Hope you understand how this 9th complement is going to be obtained. And the last one, BCD 10th complement converter. So what do you mean by BCD trans complement converter? BCD trans complement converter will perform 9th complement plus 1. So 9th complement how we have got in the previous case the same realization. Additionally we will be having input 1. <coughs> 74184 and the outputs are 3 outputs from the outputs Y6, Y7, Y8 and one more output that is from the input side this is BCD 10th complement output <coughs> BCD 10th complement output and here we have four inputs ABCD because it is a BCD number of 4 bit BCD input a, B, C, D and whereas e, e, e is now given with logic 1 to get it added. This is E and G of course it is grounded to make the IC active. Okay and the last we have to add this as one of the outputs. Okay, this is the realization of 9's and 10's complement. 9's complement, we don't have this E. E makes simply grounded. 
because that uh, that is, there is no need of the addition but in the tens complement we have to take a nines complement plus one nines complement is nothing but just to simply subtracting the given number from the nines and then adding one okay thank you